my name is Jenna and today I'm here doing the Netflix book tag. This tag was created by A Darker Shade of Whitney whose original video I will leave in the description box below. I decided to do this one by G Swizzle from G Swizzle Books. I will also leave her tag in the description box below. She tagged me to do this in February so it's been like a good three months or however long that, yeah like three months or whatever. Uh, I don't really have an excuse for that basically but yeah I was having some booktube issues and then uni issues and then I just, I forgot about it to be perfectly honest and to be perfectly honest like again I feel like Netflix actually has a lot to do with the fact that I haven't filmed this but now I'm just rambling so I'm just going to jump right into the questions. So question number one, recently watched, what is the last book you finished reading? A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas, I mean like what else would I have just finished reading? Question number two, top picks, a book or books that has been recommended to you based on a book you have previously read. For this one I'm going to go with Half Love by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I was recommended this one by a friend who read the series and said it was amazing. She kind of described it as like fairies and stuff and I think she sort of described it as like, I don't, I don't know, I can't exactly remember what she described it as but kind of a school fairy based thing. I just know that not only did she recommend it to me, she recommended it because it reminded her of a book that I'd read. I don't, don't really know and I'm kind of butchering up this answer but yeah, so Half Love by Jennifer L. Allen Trout. Question number three, recently added, the last book you bought. Begin and Begin, I Love Oz YA Anthology by, all edited by Danielle Binks and by a whole lot of beautiful Australian authors. I'm on like my fourth short story at the moment and I'm not like super enthralled with it but it is a contemporary book and let's be real here. I don't do contemporary books books. But I am enjoying it and I love the fact that I just love Oz YA as well which is just something really really special so I'm really really glad that I have bought this one. Question number four, popular on Netflix. Books that everybody knows about. So for this question you're supposed to pick two books or book series that you have read and two that you haven't read or have no interest in reading. I kind of went a different way so I've gone with two that I have read and two that I haven't yet read but have an interest in reading because I really 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 want to read them. So for the two books or book series that everyone knows about and that you have read I have gone with the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Mars and the Illuminale Files by Amy Goffman and Jay Kristoff. Uh, this one obviously just had the third book, Ackerwall, come out recently and everybody has been talking about it and rereading it. And this one is just a really cool book that I didn't really think I was going to enjoy but ended up doing. It's like told in a really weird format with all sorts of like documents and all that sort of thing. So it's really, really cool. It's from sci-fi and I just really, really enjoy it. And everybody loves, actually, well, everyone that I know of loves this series as well. So... As for two series that I haven't read yet but I really want to, I don't have a physical copy of one of them because I just literally don't own it, but those two series are the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan and the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. I've heard nothing but amazing things about both of these series and everybody seems to know about them. I swear I can't get through a tag video without someone mentioning Percy or someone to do with Percy or someone from this series or franchise so, you know, clearly I need to jump on that bandwagon. And also the Lunar Chronicles I've heard are just really amazing sci-fi fantasy, very tale retellings and I'm a sucker for fairy tale retelling so I really want to read that series as well. Question number five, comedies, a funny book. So for this one I've gone with more of a series and that is the series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. These books are so funny. Like they're really dark and kind of depressing because I mean horrible, horrible things happen to these kids but it's such a funny way that it happens and I can't help laughing. Like even when I was watching the Netflix, <laughs> the Netflix series I literally couldn't stop laughing even though terrible horrible things are happening so yes if I had to pick a funny book it would be these ones. Question number six, dramas. A character that is a drama king or queen. So this one I've actually gone with a group of four characters and that is Hannah, Emily, Spencer and Arya from the Pretty Little Liars series. I actually have read the book so I'm not just going off the TV show here but honestly if you have read the books or seen the show you will know that these girls are the biggest drama queens of all time. I mean like the littlest thing could happen and they'll blow it out of proportion and yes okay I get it like A is pretty creepy and does a lot of creepy stuff but still some of the things that they just blow it completely out of proportion and for that reason they are just the biggest drama queens I think I've ever read about. Question number seven animated a book with cartoons on the cover. For this one I'm going with Zarkora uh, book one The Violet Tragedy by NNA Lockell. It has a cartoon of a dragon and the two main characters Neelik and Irvin. I think Neelik and Irvin. Uh, this is a really cute little story. It's a middle grade novel about two brothers and it's just it's a really cute little story that I actually really ended up enjoying despite it 
had a lot of issues. I actually did a full spoiler-free book review of this one, which I will link in the description box below if you were interested. But yeah, it was a cute little book and it has a cartoon on the cover, so it fit this description very, very well. Question number eight, watch it again. A book or book series you want to reread? The Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I have kind of a real issue with this series at the moment because I really wanted to reread it before season 2B of Shadowhunters was released, but I just have not left myself with enough time and I refuse to read the books at the same time as watching the show because I'm just going to get way too confused. I'm really enjoying the show simply because I don't remember a thing that goes on in these books. Like, something happened in the show and I went, did that happen in the books? Did it not happen? I honestly can't remember. So I've decided that I really do want to reread this series this year and I also want to read The Infernal Devices, The Companion Books and The Dark Artifices for the first time because I haven't read them yet. But I refuse to do so until I have reread this series. But it's just really daunting. They're surprisingly, like, thick books and there's, you know, it's fairly daunting. And yeah, I don't remember the last time I reread them so I really want to reread this series. Question number nine, documentaries. A non-fiction book you would recommend to everyone. I really don't read non-fiction books kind of ever. It's not really something that interests me, but I'm currently, well, I just finished volume A of the British Literature Historical Overview for University, and I'm currently reading volume B, and it's interesting enough. It's kind of all about uh, the British history periods spanning from the medieval period all the way up until the early 20th century, and it's interesting if you like learning about that sort of thing, but through the context of literature. So it has a very heavy focus on the history of print and the history of poetry and the novel and all that sort of stuff, which is really interesting, but not something that I would have picked up if it weren't for university. Question number 10, action and adventure, an action-packed book. For this one, I couldn't go with anything else other than The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. This is possibly the most action-packed book I have ever read in my life. It is just, I mean, just the premise of it, like 24 children going into an arena and killing each other, just promises you action, and I really love it. It is so action-packed, and it's so much fun, as fun as a book about children killing other children can be, and I just, I really, really love it, and it's just, oh, it's so good. If you haven't read this series for whatever reason, like, go and read it because you're missing out. Question number 11, new releases. A new book that is coming out or has just come out that you can't wait to read. This question I'm going with Hunter by Megan Spooner. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I am so excited to read it. I am a real sucker for fairy tale retellings. If I find out that a book is a fairy tale retelling, I just absolutely have to read it. Haven't had a chance to pick this one up yet, but I am so excited, especially because of all the Beauty and the Beast-esque things that's been happening recently with the new movie coming out and, you know, Aka War coming out, because technically that was a Beauty and the Beast retelling-ish, kind of, not really, but you know, that's all in the past. So yeah, I'm really, 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 really looking forward to reading this one. A lot of people have read it and have said that it's been really good, so I can't wait to get my hands on it. And question number tell Max tag some people. No, I won't be tagging anyone simply because it's been three months since she Sizzle tagged me to do this tag, and I have absolutely no idea who has done it, who hasn't done it, and I am way too lazy to actually go and research, you know, all that sort of stuff. So I'm not gonna tag anyone in particular, but if you have haven't yet done this tag and it sounds like something you would like to do, then feel free. So there you go guys, that was my Netflix book tag. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below some of your answers to the questions because I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.